Hello, hello! It's Julie Davison. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so excited you're joining me today. Today is Thursday, July 16th, and it's my birthday! Yeah! <laughs> uh, I've had a great day, and honestly, I've been off Facebook for most of it, which is it's kind of my jam. I'm not so much a Facebook all day kind of girl. So it's been a really great day. I will catch up on all these awesome birthday messages um, later on when I put my feet up and relax on the couch. But I have been really so excited and happy because you guys, look! Look at all these birthday cards! It has been the most happy mail week ever. I think it was last year, maybe the year before. I think it was last year. I feel like I didn't get many cards. Like, really, I could probably count on one hand. Two at the most, how many birthday cards I got. And so <laughs> I put it out there. I'm not going to lie. I'm not ashamed. Uh, I asked you guys to send me cards, and you did. You came through. Look at all these cards. I'm going to show you every single one of them today, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for making this birthday so special. Oh, can hear my dogs in the background. All of your beautiful cards, but more importantly, the beautiful notes that you wrote inside really just meant so much to me. And so tonight, I'm showing you every single card that I received. I got one more hand delivered, so the count is 43. I have 43 cards to, um, to show you, and my kids all picked a favorite and so I have prizes to give away um, and I have to show you look at these beautiful gifts that my girls made for me Anna banana made this painting and I'm gonna post a picture when we're all done um, of her inspiration we have this flower arrangement that's by the um, fireplace and it's a black background and the colors that she picked are from the flower arrangement and it's just so striking I just love the black background for this it's such a such a pretty painting Anna is 10 so I, I, I'm biased, I know, but I think that she did a really amazing job. And like I said, I'll, I'll post a picture with the inspiration. Now, she also made me a card, which I'll share with you. And Elise also made me a card, and she made this cute little emoji magnet, which I'm so glad because we got a new fridge today. That was our big excitement besides all these cards. The new fridge. We had ordered it, like, last month, and it finally came in, and it is magnetic on the front. So I'm really excited to hang up. Elise always makes the cutest little um, the cutest little magnets and she um, gives me one I, I feel like for every holiday. So we've got a little collection of Elise magnets. How are you guys doing tonight? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for your birthday wishes. I am going to try really hard to, uh, to, to watch her comments and I apologize in advance because sometimes it's just really hard to follow along, um, while I'm showing you things. So, um, I, I will do my best to keep up with the comments and if not, I always respond afterwards. So please do leave me a comment. Let me know when you love something. If you have any questions at the last minute, when I was writing up the description of this video, I decided to do a little birthday special. So if you want to do a little Stampin' Up! shopping, you can head over to my online store, juliedavison.com slash shop. I put the host code in the description, and I, um, I'm i going to send a little birthday gift surprise. Um, something small, don't like, don't, it won't be huge, but in addition to the regular ordering perks, a little birthday surprise if you place an order um, today on my online store. So if you placed one earlier today, you'll get it. If you place one um, tonight still, you'll get it. And that is mountain time. So by 12 o'clock mountain time, which, uh, you know, the conversion with your time zone. Um, I'm going to take a really quick second just to share this video over to my Share and Connect group. We have so much fun over there. And so if you're not part of the Share and Connect group, make sure that you um, that you find us. Uh, I will include the link when I'm done. I'll put it in the description of this video. Um, so let me just do a quick little share. Um, share in a group. And you guys let me know what you're doing tonight. Are you... Um, Obviously, you're watching, but are you multitasking? Are you stamping? Are you eating dinner? What's going on tonight? Um, 
join us for some birthday fun. Okay, so now everybody can find us. They know that we are live and on time tonight. Um, and I do have a special prize. Um, Wendy Waldman and her card reminded me that we're cancer crabs, right? Cancer is the crab. That's the... Um, Oh my gosh, it, I just left my head. What do you call those? Uh, the signs. What's the what's the word I'm thinking of? What was I? I feel like my head always goes blank. Oh my gosh. Anyway, cancer's the crab for the word I can't think of. Um, anyway, so I thought I had this stamp set in my stash and it had a crab in it. So I thought we would give it away. So we'll do this giveaway later. Do not let me forget. Um, and we'll just do like, a you know, a, a random number color or whatever. And the first person who guesses it will get it. But I do have prizes to give away for my kids' favorite picks on the birthday cards. So astrological, that's it. Horoscope, yes, zodiac. Okay, you guys got me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the zodiac signs, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess this is, this is what happens when you get old. I know, I know, I know. Okay, let's dig into the birthday cards. Like I said, we have 43 that I'm gonna show you tonight. And um, I'm gonna just go through all of them and... Um, as I go through them, I'm going to show you the ones that my kids picked. And so then I'll, I'll stick the, um, the sticker on here and I'll send them out. And I packaged these up, um, I packaged them up like two years ago. And so I don't know what's inside. <laughs> um, some of them feel like this feels like it has a stamp set in it. Like three of them feel like stamp sets. But I really don't know. I have no idea. So um, it's going to be a surprise. You'll have to let us know if you if you get a um, if you get a prize. You'll have to let us know when you open it up and and see what's inside. All right, I'm going to start with my kids' cards because they're just so stinking cute. So this is Elise's card. She used emojis on her card to go with her magnet. And look at this, you guys. Oh, look! <laughs> it's got a little pop up, like a little. A little wiggly pop-up emoji. Isn't just that the cutest? Oh, I know I'm biased, but my kids just make the best. They just make the best cards. <laughs> Here is Anna's card. Anna's the one that did the painting. It says, happy birthday. And then my girls, they're so good at drawing. Like, oh, the drawings that they do are just incredible. I have to show you this card. I'm going to bring it in. I've got it right behind me in my stamp room. Claire didn't make me a birthday card, but this is what she made me for Mother's Day. Look at that drawing. Seriously, they have such talent. And I know oh, people say all the time, oh, they get it from you. But you know what? I don't draw like that. <laughs> I do not draw that well at all. They get it from my grandmother. She was such a talented artist and would paint. I think I shared with you some of the paintings that um, the paintings that she did. It was incredible. So their their gift um, comes from it comes from generations generations of um, creativity unleashed. I love it. Okay, guys. I'm going to, I'm just going to go through each card. I tried to kind of group them by color or by theme or um, some of them use the same stamp set, but otherwise it's kind of a random order. And so they're also randomly um, ra in random order by their favorites. So this is a favorite. Claire really had a hard time. This is Claire's favorite. And this one is by Lisa S Serve. Oh gosh. I'm going to mess up names so bad. Uh, Sorovi? Oh, Lisa, I'm sorry if I messed that up. But holy macaroni! Look at this card. So this folds flat. Okay, it fit in a regular envelope. And then it sits up like that. So like the base of the cup fits in there. Isn't that incredible? Okay, so I was showing this to my mom earlier today when she FaceTimed me. Lisa, you're going to have to let us know. Is this a template? Is this a die? Like, how how did you create this amazing teacup card? You'll have to let us know, Lisa. All right, so that was, I'm telling you guys, there were some incredible, incredible cards. Here's another one. This is by Becky. Oh, Becky, I'm going to mess up your last name. Sloshnagel? Ah, Becky S. 
Okay, look at this. I love this little slider. There is like a little um, um, window strip. So he's on a little window strip that is um, attached to this um, slider strip and he just goes back and forth. Isn't that so cute? I love these little Easter critters. This was definitely one, Becky, where everyone was like, oh, that's, that's a favorite. Honestly, all of them, <laughs> all of them. I had the girls, um, I had the, look at this. I had to show you this envelope um, that Judy made because it was just so festive and fun to get this in the mail. Um, so we laid out all the cards and I was like, okay, um, decide which ones that you, you know, that are, are not a favorite so that we can kind of, you know, narrow it down. No, like <laughs> they didn't want to get rid of any of the cards because they were all just so beautiful and unique and different in their own way. Oh my gosh. I just love this. Every bit of it is stamped so nicely. Thank you so much, Judy, for this beautiful card. Oh, okay. This next one is by Gloria. And you know what, Gloria? I'm going to screw up your last name too. Hon? Han? Ah, that's so awful. I hate trying to, <laughs> I hate trying to pronounce names. Uh, but look at this. This was kind of one of my favorites. I really love this um, like 3D. It's like a pop-up diorama card. And I've done a tutorial for this one. But the thing I really loved about it was this extra layer. So it's it's on there with dimensionals. And I think it really just like, it really just pops. So it's kind of behind that layer. I'll have to share the link to the tutorial if you guys haven't seen this card before, but I thought this was really awesome. And you know, my kids loved it because they said this was me on the front and then this was the four of them. Oh, isn't that cute? I just love it. Thank you, Gloria, for that beautiful card. All right, this one is by Lynn Werner. And Lynn, I, at the very last minute, I had my husband pick a favorite too. And this was one of his favorites, not the one that he picked ultimately, I'm sorry to say, but um, he had this one narrowed down. He really loved the contrast of the gray and the black against the pink. And this is the Peaceful Poppy stamp set. Just such a gorgeous card. Thank you so much, Lynn. Oh, and this was also... I'm going to say that for everything, every single card. It was so hard to pick. And honestly, I was really happy that everybody else had to pick and I didn't have to because they were so, oh, they were just all so good. This one is by Pam Yergel and I just loved, I love the paper. This was a favorite paper of mine. This was a celebration uh, Lily Impressions paper. And then we've got the embossed image that's watercolored and just so pretty. I just love it so much. Thank you, Pam, for this beautiful card. All right, our next card is by Ann Hansen. And this was one that Elise, she really, it really caught her eye. I was kind of, um, I was kind of surprised, but she really liked this one a lot and did not want to pull it out of the pile. Um, but I, I love it too. I love the simplicity of the designer paper and the sequins are so great. Thank you, Ann, for this card. This one is by Eva White, and I love this little, like, double Z fold. In fact, when I opened this up, I thought, I need to make a card like that. I was really, really inspired by that. Um, happy birthday, and this is the, um, what is that, I think, oh, that might be a celebration. Not a celebration, Paper Pumpkin, or To a Wild Rose, one of those roses. Rococo Rose is the color here. Really gorgeous card. Thank you so much, Eva. All right, here's another Rococo Rose card. I tried to group those together. This one's really fun. This one's by Robin Satterwhite. And um, she's got this little, like, flap in the front. And this fun paper is the Tasteful Textures paper. And then on the inside, it says, Happy Birthday, Julie. So when I first saw this, I thought, oh, where's the little handle? And it's right there. <laughs> I thought that was really clever. Oh, thank you so much, Robin. I loved your card so much. This was a really fun one, and I'm glad to have it in my stash. This is Donna Lotta's card, and I love that she left it blank because my brother is such a, a gamer, and not like a video gamer. Like, 
he has the biggest collection of board games that I mean you wouldn't you wouldn't believe <laughs> like he's got such a collection of board games and so this is a really fun card and I'm gonna save it for him for his birthday I think that he will really really enjoy this one hope your day is all fun and games thank you for this great card Donna and you know what I did play games with the girl the girls yeah actually it was just the girls I didn't play with Thomas we played Quirkle have you guys ever played that game um that it's a fun kind of it's like a tile game very similar to dominoes with shapes and colors so if you are looking for a new um a new board game. Corkle is a good one to check out. Thank you, Donna, for that card. This one was hand delivered today, and I just love this paper. This is that Tasteful Textures paper again. So Robin used one pattern on this card with the Rococo and the like. Almost looks like like spackle, and then this this blue tile one is in the same package. And this card is by Margot Richardson, and I just loved like the. The different flaps and it just kind of like it's like a surprise as it opens and this one caught the eye of one of my children it was Anna Banana's favorite so congratulations Margo I loved the colors the um the balmy blue and the navy and the so saffron I just thought it was such a beautiful card too so thank you Margo for this gorgeous card all right. Oh my gosh. I seriously love this suite. You guys know how much I love it. This is the Whale Done Suite or Whale of a Time. And so I was really excited to get several cards using this designer paper. This one is by Jennifer Arndt. A Arendt? Oh, geez. I can't even... I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know <laughs> about how to pronounce your name so that maybe I'll get it right next time. Jennifer Scard uses the uh, seabed embossing folder and the whale of a time designer paper with the, um, the gorgeous organdy ribbon and that fun little whale. I just love this so much. Thank you, Jennifer, for this beautiful card. And this is Wendy Walpin's card, and there's those cancer crabs. Wendy just had a birthday, too, so happy birthday, Wendy. Or it's coming up. I can't remember which way. I think it was either a couple days after or a couple days before. Is it the 18th? That sounds about right. Anyway, either way, if it's passed or if it's coming up, happy birthday, Wendy. And thank you for this gorgeous card. I love the base of it, which is the designer paper. And then just some simple stamping and some die cuts just really dresses it up. Thank you so much, Wendy, for this beautiful card. I love it. Here's another one with the whale den paper. This one is by Bonnie McGrew. And I love, she used the Flowers for Every Season um, card pack. I think I have one really, let me show you. Um, oh, I just fell. The, this is um, Flowers for Every Season card pack. It comes with all the in colors. So you get two, two cards um, of each one and then there's coordinating envelopes to go with it. And so Bonnie used the Just Jade one and added the designer paper in the middle. And then this is from the um, Flowers for Every Season Memories and More that celebrate, that coordinates in the bumblebee. So this was a, a fun card, little sequins in there to dress it up. Thank you, Bonnie, for this fun card. I loved it so much. The next two I grouped together because they both use the Magnolia Lane paper. This is such gorgeous paper. One of my favorites from the last annual catalog. And so I really loved these cards. This one is by Pat Smothers. And she used the Celebrate Today. This is an old sentiment set. I'm trying to remember. Like, it just hit me. Like, it was sort of like deja vu. I remember this one. Um, oh, gosh. It's from a few years ago. Um, but... A nice blast from the past there and this one now um, Pat included such a wonderful note um, and I, I that was my favorite thing about getting these cards you guys was the amazing notes that you wrote to me and I cherish them so much so one of the things that Pat said was that she made this card um, at a class or from a class that Lori Helvick did and um, and I just I thought that was so fun I'm trying to remember all the things um, oh Pat you said that you were a copy editor for the Panagraph and I 
when I first started after college, I was doing some copy editing. And so I just thought that was such a fun, such a fun connection, Pat. Thank you for your beautiful note and your beautiful card. This one is um, by Myrtle Thorne and also uses that... Um, Magnolia Lane paper and then the die cuts. I love this little glitter center. I feel like this is a layout that I like to use a lot, right? With the strip of um, designer paper and another skinny strip and then the, the center embellishment. Such a beautiful card. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Um, I feel like I'm going to start crying because you guys, these cards are just so amazing and beautiful and I just feel so... I just feel so blessed that you took the time out of your lives to, to send a little sunshine my way and to make my birthday so special. So thank you so much to all of you. Okay, now I am going to cry. <laughs> all right. Debbie Beckler. Um, Debbie is a cousin of my, is this right? A cousin of my grandfather, Debbie? Um, I got to meet Debbie a few years ago when she was in Michigan and I was staying at mom's and she, um, she stopped to meet everybody and it was Christmas Eve, I think. And it, it was so special. And now Debbie has joined our stamping family as well. And, um, I just love it so much. So this is another, this is that tasteful textures pa paper again, a really popular choice on these birthday cards. And this is the, um, tasteful touches, uh, or something like that stamp set that goes along with it. Uh, beautiful card. This is um, gorgeous grape and then like a um, very vanilla and old olive. Just such a gorgeous card. Thank you so much, Debbie. I paired this one next to this one because of the purples. We've got Highland Heather back here and Blackberry Bliss. This card is by Sharon Rolland. Um, I love the die cut. Um, dragonflies they are retired but just such a fun way to bridge those pieces together and this one caught Anna's eye she really did love it so much I think it was the purple but she also really liked just the the angles and the diagonals that's not something that you know we see or do a lot so she really loved this card I did too you got the purple peacock the pretty peacock rhinestones there uh, thank you so much Sharon for this beautiful card all right, this next one is by Ruth Moore, and I just love this little ladybug. Guys, this was um, from the celebration offering. You could get the ladybug stamp set if you hosted a party that was a certain amount, and then they had framelits that went with it, and I actually have an extra stamp set in framelits, so if you wanted to get the ladybugs and didn't, send me a message, and I'll see what I can do to hook you up. I thought this was such a such a fun card. Hey lady! And the black and white polka dot paper. I just love everything about this card. It's so cute. Happiest birthdays to you. Thank you so much Ruth. Here's another Poppy Parade card and this one is by Janice McCollum. My kids loved these little pets, the playful pets. I don't have this bundle yet. Um, notice I said yet. <laughs> um, and so the kids thought this was such a fun, such a fun little card. And I love the little, um, the little playful pet trinkets and the bows. I hope your day is a real treat. Thank you so much, Janice, for this fun birthday card. It really has been a treat in part because of your card and all the others. Here's another one. This is the one that was hand-delivered tonight by Carla Fuller. Thank you so much, Carla. It really meant so much that you stopped by to make sure that I had my card tonight. And um, and I just love it. It's so cute. And I recognize this card layout as one from the Double Wonder card class. So I thought that was really fun. And I've been meaning to do the Double Wonder cards again. So you've inspired me to break out those templates. I've got the little playful pet trinket here here as well. Such a great card. Thank you so much, Carla. Oh, this card. Look at this beautiful um, watercolor background with all the colors in here. And I don't remember which one of the girls, but they were so impressed with the size of this card because it's bigger than a standard card that we normally make, right? When uh, card makers usually do half a sheet of cardstock. And so this one is really big. Joe Williams, thank you so much for this beautiful card. And look at in the inside, all these little watercolors 
watercolor, flowers, just so many details to this beautiful card. It really made my day so much to see the beautiful creation that you made. Thank you so much, Joe. All right, we're only, look at all these cards we have left. I was gonna say we're halfway through, but I'm not sure the exact number. Um, now this card, look at this, holy macaroni. This is such an awesome card, and I loved the note, Eva, that you put, Eve, that you put inside. Um, and so, okay, this is really fun, because Claire was trying to decide on a favorite, and she, and she ended up deciding on Lisa's teacup card. Um, but I had Jim then pick a favorite, and he was very decisive. Like, I went through the whole pile, and he picked out, like, four that he considered, and then when he had to pick out just one favorite, he said this one. Um, and so this was Jim's fave, Eve, and I'm, I'm really excited because he gets to hand deliver your gift. <laughs> um, he is coming up near you again tonight for Claire's um, softball practice. And so he will be coming by your house after practice. So just after dark, don't be startled. If the doorbell rings, it's just Jim dropping off your pink polka dot package for your prize because he liked your card best. Oh my gosh, what a fun, fun card. Like, it almost seems like it's impossible to close, but then it just comes right together like that. Thank you, Eve, for that gorgeous card and also your beautiful note inside. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this one. This is April Booth's card, and I I am just speechless. It is so amazing it has all these flaps with so many different birthday greetings and I have to say April that you really had all the girls just going like Whoa! <laughs> their chins were down to the floor they just thought this was so awesome and Claire said oh this would be cool to make with pictures like to do a flip book for scrapbooking and I'm sure that's where this um this design kind of originated from you know is scrapbooking and I thought that was such a beautiful way to show off all the designer paper too lots of favorites in there thank you so much April for this beautiful card I love those detailed butterflies man I need to get that die back out again oh my gosh I love it and April also sent me a package with some um, cello bags and some Ziploc bags that she's been collecting from all the kits that I've sent her and she sent them back to me and I just thought that was the best thing because if you know me you know that I'm a big recycler I love to reuse things and so to get a package of bags to reuse from April was seriously the best <laughs> it was the best birthday gift thank you so much April this card is from Melody Lampert, and she um, cased this one right from the catalog. I love this card, the row of jars and then the colored flowers on top. I thought this was so bright and cheerful. Thank you so much, Mel. I love it. I love the magenta madness, and so that is sort of the theme that bridges the next cards. These cute little zebras, aren't they just the best? This one is by Beth. Cook Heiser? Cook, I want to say Cook and then Heiser. Is that right, Beth? Um, I thought this was so much fun. I love the little flap and it's kind of like a different fold. And these zebras are just so cute. I don't have them yet, but I really think after getting several zebra birthday cards that, um, that I need to add this to my next my next order. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Beth, for that card. This next zebra card is by Tony Shaw. And remember how I was just posting uh, this week about the triangle dies? Here, Tony's used them on her card and she die cut them with the rainbow glitter paper. And this card is just so colorful and so fun with a little peekaboo frame and our little zebra inside with the glitter hat as well. This one was so much fun and really made me smile. Thank you so much, Tony, for this great card. 
This next one is by Mary Ellen Stites, and she also used the zebras and also used the glitter paper, and she used that confetti flowers border punch, which I think I also was posting about the other day. This is a new punch in the annual catalog, and so she punched out the glitter paper, and then it's like a little like a little floor for the, the zebra to dance on. I thought this was just so much fun, so cute. Thank you so much, Mary Ellen, for this cute card and for enabling me to get the zebra stamp set. <laughs> All right, are you ready for some more cuteness? This is a stamp set that's been on my radar, the Hippopotamus. I'm not sure what it's called, so let me double check really quick. Seriously, because it... This is so cute. And one reason that this one has been on my radar is, um, well, there it is right there, the hippos. Uh, it's been on my radar because the dyes have amazing labels that are part of the set. Where did it, where did it go? Oh, I skipped over it because I was looking for hippos and it's mostly labels. So the Hippo and Friends has these awesome label dies and then some accessories. Let's take a look at the stamp set. It's on page 49 and it is so cute. It's got the little, the hippos and the lamb and the unicorn. Isn't it adorable? So this card and the next one both use this Hippo Happiness stamp set and bundle and like I said this has kind of been on my radar so I was really excited to get some ideas using this one this card is by Trista Casey and again I love the the sort of fun um gatefold that's the word I was thinking of gatefold card that opens up a little bit different and the magenta madness such a great card so happy and it made me so happy thank you so much trista for that great card and this one also uses that stamp set with the butterflies laura made this one laura oh my gosh i'm totally gonna mess up your last name oh you know what i'm just gonna say laura r <laughs> I feel so terrible guys. I'm so sorry that I'm I'm so bad with um with pronouncing everybody's names. But look at look at the fun rainbow. I love this. This is Magenta Madness and Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Highland Heather. I just thought that was such a, a fun rainbow. And this effect. Oh my gosh like placing all these little pieces. I just thought this was so stunning. This was also one that was like in the, the final pile to decide, Laura, but I'm sorry to say that it wasn't chosen as a, a favorite, but it was, it was one of my favorites. Just such a fun card, thank you. And look at this. Laura's daughter, Kaylin, made a card too, and I was so touched that she um, that she made a card and wanted to send it as well. So thank you so much, Laura and Kaylin. It really made my day. I love the beautiful coloring job, Kaylin, that you did, and the background is so soft and fun too. Oh, guys, I'm going to cry again. <laughs> I just love it so much, and it really... Oh, it really was something incredible to get these from you guys. This next card is by Yolanda Garza. And Yolanda's always so amazing about posting multiple cards for our weekend card challenge in the in the Julie Stamping Spot Share and Connect group. If you're not on that group, you have to join us there so you can see the amazing things that Yolanda shares. So this card is such a fun one because the flower just pops and you'd think that it was die cut, but it's all flat. So she stamped it and then masked it and sponged around it and the effect is just so beautiful. I really thought this card was awesome and I just loved your message and your note inside. Yolanda, thank you so much for this great card. Well, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you guys are so amazing. This card came today. This is for my sister-in-law, Angie Hillman. I love these colors, Just Jade and Bumblebee. And this is a die that 
if I haven't, I've never used it. And I just think it's a fun way to have this peekaboo back there. She left it blank for me and wrote a note on a, on a separate paper. And you guys, I have to show you this really quick. Give me just a second. It's in the other room. And she made me this beautiful wall hanging. And, um, and it's just incredible. Hold on. Okay, I don't even know if this is going to show up on camera very well. Um, Angie has gotten into knitting. I believe this is knitting or crocheting. Either way, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She oh, I had to take a sip of water as I moved it out of the way. And let me move these cards so I can pull it up a little bit. She knew that I was really missing our Maui vacation, and so she created this wall hanging of a sunset to hold us over until we get to go to Maui next week. And I just love, I love sunsets. I love the beach, and this was just such, such an amazing surprise today. I'm telling you guys, it really was such, such an awesome day. <laughs> I'm totally going to cry. Um... So amazing. The phone calls from family, Angie and Mark called um, this afternoon, and the beautiful gifts and the beautiful cards have made this day just so special. So thank you again, Angie, for this beautiful wall hanging. I have to decide if I'm going to hang it up in the office or my bedroom. Um, I don't really have a lot of wall space in the office, which is unfortunate because there's so many things that I would like to hang here. Um... So I'll have to find a special place. This was Angie's card. Thank you, Angie, for the beautiful card. Thank you, Angie, for um, the beautiful wall hanging and um, for being such an awesome sister-in-law. Oh, okay. More cards. More gorgeous, amazing cards. This one is by Elizabeth Roberts. And this is one that I really love from the new catalog, the Blossoms in Bloom, the detailed um, die cuts. So there is a yellow layer and then the Blackberry Bliss layer on top. Um, I just love it. It's so beautiful and bright. And I, I love the combination of the Blackberry and the Bumblebee. Like, I don't know that I would have put that together, but... It, it works so beautifully, and I just really loved your card. Thank you so much, um, Elizabeth. Oh, okay. I'm going to pull myself together here. <laughs> this fun card is by Carla Andres, and um, today is a cocktail kind of a day. We had a little um, Zoom call with our advisory board alumni, and so I had a little... Um, berry lemonade frozen cocktail thing in the freezer so I broke it out and I had it while stamping virtually with some of my um, advisory board sisters and so I thought this was an appropriate card for today and for our our current our current situation definitely a cocktail kind of birthday I love this fun fun bright card and this die cut is the same one that Angie used on her card so I love to see how different die cuts and different things can be used in in different ways kind of a similar layout too with the horizontal or the vertical pieces so thank you Carla for this beautiful card it really made my day to get it Oh, look at this one. This one is by Peggy Scott, and I love this bright um, this bright bunch of balloons. I thought this was just such a fun card. Um, and the, the balloon punch, I think I've got an extra one hanging around somewhere. This is so versatile. You can punch it from designer paper or from um, cardstock, and I love the little, um, like, little balloon shine that you added to the to the balloons too. I think it really made the card, Peggy. Thank you so much for sending this card and making my day so happy. All right, here's another one with balloons and the bright colors. And this one was a favorite. This was Thomas's favorite card. And it was created by Trina Hillegoss. And Trina says that she cased it from Mary Ann Curtis stamp around the corner. So I want to mention that and give her some credit. This is such a fun um, skinny scrap, scrappy, what is it? Skinny scrappy technique. Um, something like that. Skinny. I was going to say skinny strip, which sounds like skinny dip. 
Um, but anyway, I just, I love it. It's so colorful. And I think that's what Thomas loved about it so much is the, the rainbow colors and then, um, the bright bouquet of balloons. Let's see if there's something on the inside, little, little balloons there. So Trina, thank you so much for this beautiful card and, um, congratulations on being picked as Tom's favorite. I will send you your little prize. Um, I'll get that in the mail to you tomorrow. So I hope that you enjoy your prize. And thank you so much for that beautiful card. Um, all right. The, we have just a few more cards left. This card is by Nancy Bodie. And um, Nancy wrote a nice message inside. This was a card that Nancy made. Um, she she gave me the date here, March 2009. It was the first um, kit, the first class that Nancy did with me 11 years ago. And I just thought it was so fun. You can tell from the, um, <laughs> the, the faded, the, um, the, faded edges that it's been exposed to some sunlight so it's been sitting in Nancy's card box for 11 years just waiting for this special day to brighten my day um so thank you so much for this birthday card Nancy and for the little walk down memory lane um I really enjoyed seeing it again and um remembering that fun class Oh, this is such a gorgeous card. This one came today, and this one is by Julia Mazur. Um, and I, you guys probably recognize this one. This is just like the um, the birds and branches diorama card that I shared with you a few weeks ago. And so this is um, Julia's version, and she used the builder wreath um, and used the little. Uh, it looks like a partridge, right, in the in the wreath, and I just love your take on it so much, Julia. It's so fun to see how um, how I inspire others, and I love to see your versions of cards that I've created. So thank you so much for sharing this with me and for making my birthday so very happy with your card. Oh, a couple more cards left. This one was one that Claire was so excited about. This card is by Paulette Burke Bigler. And um, this is one piece of designer paper that is, is cut. And then so she cut the corners off of here and then glued it the reverse side here. And then we have this fun gatefold card. I thought this was such a fun card. Thank you so much, Paulette, for this beautiful card with the seahorse. I, I always, I always have eyed this stamp set, and I never did get it, but it's always been kind of on my list, and I always thought it was a fun set. So it was so great to get your card with it. One more card and one more favorite. And that's right. The last card is our last favorite. This card by Carmen Vega is Elise's favorite card. Elise had a hard time deciding on a favorite. But um, when she did decide, she was definitely all in and thought that this card was so cool. And it is. I agree so much. <laughs> Carmen's card folds flat so you can put it in an envelope. And then when you open it up, it's like a little box card, which has some layers in here, which hold all these balloons. It's such a festive and fun card. So many details, and I love it so much. Thank you, Carmen, for putting so much attention into the card and really making my day with your bright and beautiful birthday wishes. Oh, my goodness. You guys, that was 43 cards. I think I mentioned this in my earlier post. I'm turning 42 this year. So I got 42 cards. And then there was one more that was hand delivered this evening to make 43. So that's a year to grow on. <laughs> I'm so... I'm so blessed that I have all of you in my life. Thank you so much for, for tuning in to not only tonight's Facebook Live, but all of them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for ordering. Thank you for your encouraging words and your nice comments. Thank you for sharing your art with all of us on the Share and Connect group. And thank you for commenting on the people who do share, even if you can't share yourself. Um, it makes it such a fun place to be and I am so grateful for all of you <laughs> I'm totally gonna cry again um, 
Ooh. I promised a giveaway. So let's do a giveaway. I was trying to decide if I didn't get a chance to prep a card. And it is almost 8 o'clock. So I think, I think for tonight I am not going to... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a card. But I'll make it a separate Facebook Live. Okay. But right now we're going to give away... We're going to give away a stamp set. Um, make a splash because of the cancer crab down here. And so I am going to, um, <sighs> let's guess the cake flavor. My girls made a cake today and, um, and then Jim made the icing when he got home. And so I want you to guess the flavor of uh, the birthday cake that we're going to enjoy later tonight. And the first person that I see to guess correctly will get the stamp set in the mail. So I'm going to read your answers as I see them. Tony Shaw says chocolate. Um, and then the first one that I see that is right will win this one. And if I need to, I'll give you a hint. I see Robin Satterway also says chocolate. Eva White says carrot cake, which is a favorite of mine, but not the one we made tonight. Katie Good says lemon. Nancy says German chocolate. Laura says vanilla. Um, Peggy Scott says red velvet. Bonnie says chocolate. Keep guessing. Becky says vanilla. Marcia says Funfetti. Not quite, but I love Funfetti. <laughs> Tony says Vanilla. Janice says Lemon. Keep your guesses coming. Tony also says Lemon. Yes, Lynn, it's cherry. <laughs> the cake itself is cherry. And then we have a chocolate, like a fudgy chocolate frosting. So it's a chocolate covered cherry cake. And I cannot wait until Claire gets back from her practice so that we can have some chocolate-covered cherry cake. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, ladies, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for making my birthday so special. Thank you for all the beautiful birthday cards. Thank you for all the beautiful notes inside. Thank you for all the birthday messages on Facebook. I haven't had a chance to read them all yet because I haven't been on Facebook, but I promise that I will read every single one. And I thank you so much for taking the time to send your birthday wishes and to help make my day so amazing. Now, I am going to log off of this Facebook Live, um, and I'm going to gather a few supplies to make a card, and then I'm going to pop on and do a second Facebook Live. So if you would like to watch some stamping tonight, stick around, and um, it won't be very long, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, and I'm just going to cut some stuff, and we'll make some cards, one or two really quick. It won't be... It won't be very long, and it, it's not going to be anything earth-shattering, but the kids are watching a movie, and so I've still got some time to kill. So um, join me back here in a few minutes. If you're watching on YouTube, don't worry. I'll upload the video on YouTube as well. I'm just going to make it a separate video than the birthday card. So thank you again for tuning in, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.